Hello, hello guys. So I want to show you uh, four different methods of how we can solve um, expressing or simplifying uh, finding mixed numbers. So the first one is when we first simplify the whole number, um, we can just look at the denominator and the whole number, multiply them, and we get 8. And obviously we'll have our 4 as our um, denominator. And then we need to add it to 6 over 4 and then our 6 over 4 since it's also um, a mixed number or sorry an improper fraction we need to first make it into a mixed number so 4 goes into 6 once and then it, the remainder is 2 over 6 so if we break down this one into um, a fraction it will give us 4 over 4 then the remainder is this 2 over 6 then when we add all three of these we will get 14 I'm sorry this is over 4 by the way so we'll get a 14 over 4 and then 4 goes into 14 um, three times and then that is 12 and then 14 minus 12 is 2 over 4 or in simplest form 3 and 1 over 2 all right so and then we have our second method so our second method is quite basic as well so you just do this as you begin so and then here you know that we pick our denominator and apply it in all three of our spaces and then the first space we take this denominator we multiply it with the two as the two is facing this first part so five times two we get our ten then here we have eight over five and then again we solve this we turn it into um, a mixed fraction that is going to give us one and three over five and then this one is facing the side so we save um, five multiplied by this one we get our five and then obviously this is our left over and it's going to go here and then again we just um, add the numerators and then this is going to give us 18 over 5 and then again 5 goes into 18 3 times and that is 15 and then 18 minus 15 will give us 3 over 5 okay then this next one is kind of similar to the previous one again we have our three spaces then we have our denominator then we just say 4 multiplied by 3 then that gives us 12 then now this is where it changes now we will begin by finding this last fraction and how do we find this last um, numerator um, then we're gonna say what is um, 7 minus 4 so 7 minus 4 that will give us 3 then we then ask ourselves what then is 7 minus this 3 then it gives us 4 and then 4 plus 7 plus 3 will give us this 7 so I repeat again we start by finding this fraction we say 7 minus 4 it will give us this numerator then we say 7 minus this numerator will give us this middle um, fraction and then we say so this fraction is equal to 3 we turn it back into 3 so it becomes 3 plus 4 over 4 we know is a whole so this is 1 then this obviously is 3 over 4 and then our answer now 3 plus 1 4 and then plus the 3 
over 4 which then finally equals 4 holes in 3 over 4 then last but not least it's the multiplication and addition um, formula so what do we do we say our denominator multiplied by our whole number plus our numerator so that goes something like 5 multiplied by 3 plus 9 so we multiply we add so use pod mass 5 uh, multiplied by 3 give us 15 plus the 9 then this will give us 24 but we must now remember that we also have what our denominator so our denominator comes here and we have 24 over 3 now we need to change this now into a mixed um, fraction so same thing applies we say 3 into 24 or 24 divided by 3 so what is 24 divided by 3 so it's we go um, 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 and then that gives us 7 then see 21 then then that still leaves us with a 3 which means our calculations were wrong then we start over then we go again 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 24 then that gives us an 8 8 times 3 24 then yeah, we are happy. So now 3 goes into 24 8 times. And that is our final answer. Hope these, method, um, these methods work for you guys.